Welcome to St. Jude Hospital Reconstruction Project. I would like to invite Mr. Norman Edward, who is the Deputy Chairman of the Board of St. Jude, to officially welcome you to our ceremony this morning for the recommencement of the St. Jude Hospital Project. Let me welcome you to, to this part of Viewfort St. Jude's Hospital. And today I want to welcome you not only as a member of the board, but more specifically as a Viewfortian, as a St. Lucian. I want to borrow a quote from the Prime Minister. Where he said, this is one of the happiest days of his life. And indeed, you know, the Prime Minister gave his word. We had a meeting with the board of St. Jude's two weeks ago, and he gave his word. He gave his word to St. Lucians. He gave his word to Vifortians that work will commence on the 1st of November, 2022. And here we are. Let's put our hands together for our Prime Minister. I would like to invite the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs to address you, particularly on behalf of Honorable Moses Musa Jabatis, who is unable, but very sad, that he's not here um, for this occasion. Yes, Daniel. I would also like to extend apologies for the Honorable Moses Jabatis, our Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, who unfortunately cannot be here to present here today as he is currently representing St. Lucia at a health conference in Taiwan. This conference will be addressing some of the vital concepts to the development of the health sector, such as universal health coverage and chronic diseases, and will also provide the opportunity to develop the linkages required to establish vital support to the strengthening of our health sector and our national health profile. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs remains committed to the rehabilitation or reconstruction of the St. Jude Hospital in the south of the island. Though not directly responsible for the management of the hospital, for which there is a board and a very competent management team, the ministry as custodian of the delivery of health services and the gatekeepers of our national health profile has a major interest in the redevelopment and reestablishment of the services at the St. Jude Hospital. The implementation of universal health coverage remains the flagship vision of the ministry as a means of providing access to a quality, affordable, and equitable health care service. Therefore, we recognize that the holistic attainment of this objective requires a landscape that includes primary and secondary institutions that would deliver those services. Though the St. Jude Hospital has remained operational over the past 13 years, we are cognizant of the severe restrictions and limitations the institution and the staff members have faced during this time in the delivery of those services, sorry. In consideration of the foregoing, and as directed by the Cabinet of Ministers, the Ministry of Health maintains oversight over this current project through the establishment of a project steering committee and the assignment of the requisite health planning services designed to provide technical planning support to the project management team, as well as the management of the hospital in matters pertaining to service provision, design, and transitioning of the hospital to its new premises. The ministry will collaborate and partner with our sister agencies of the Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Infrastructure, and the Ministry of Economic Development that are primarily responsible for the overall project construction activities in order to deliver a completed quality product to the citizens of the South and overall the entire population of St. Lucia. In addition to the preceding, the Ministry of Health will also be primarily responsible for the communication and dissemination of information and the progress of this project so that the general public remains informed at all phases of the implementation. This will be achieved through the engagement of a communications officer who, who incidentally has joined our team this morning and who will focus on, will ensure that there's a focus attention and the accurate dissemination of pertinent information. So today, 
we are pleased to see and to participate in this recommencement process and we commit to the necessary actions that are required to ensure the success and the completion of St. Jude Hospital. Thank you. Okay. Right now we will have who I believe is one of the most important people guiding this project to address us. He is the chairman of the Project Management Committee, Mr. Edison Henry. Um, as the one with responsibility for leading on the, 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 at the entity who will take the lead responsibility for the project management, we expect to utilize the best practice of interministerial management. And that, that includes close collaboration and active participation of the Ministry of Infrastructure, who will lead on technical um, supervision, as well as the Ministry of Health, who you heard earlier, would be responsible for activating our oversight mechanism. And that is a broad-based steering committee, which is made up of both public sector and private sector individuals. I think it, it speaks of a model of, as the Prime Minister always articulates, a model of transparency, accountability, and best practice. We have also engaged a contractor with a track record of top performance, and we expect that he will deliver the quality that we are accustomed to, be, to receiving from him. Um, at the level of the PMU, we will ensure that the necessary checks and balances are put in place to ensure not just the delivery of the project, but delivery of the project on time and on budget. I know it won't be an easy, easy um, situation to manage, but I welcome the presence of our public relations officer, especially as it, it, this is a project which has been marred with many circumstances, um, some without beyond our control. However, I think it is a responsibility of the, 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 the project team to keep the public informed of the um, progress of the project and the challenges, as well as the solutions for overcoming them. So that I commit to as well, in concert with, the ministry, with our, our um, implementing partners. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I will pause now and I will say thank you for the trust and confidence in the Department of Economic Development. Um, as it is, the Prime Minister has chosen to retain the project within the Department of Economic Development, um, who will provide technical lead, and we're happy to do so and provide the necessary continuity and leadership that this project solely needs. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Henry. And to re-emphasize a collaborative approach to this project, no one person or entity can do it alone, so we have the Ministry of Infrastructure on board along with the Department of Economic Development and the Ministry of Health. So I think that this will really augur well in terms of sharing ideas and using best practices for the delivery of St. Jude Hospital. So I would now like to invite the contractor from CIE, Representative Mr. Joshi, and I really haven't mastered his last name yet, so I will not even attempt Joshi. Uh, briefly about what we have started to do here. We have, we have started today with the phase one uh, of the St. Jude Hospital um, Rehabilitation Project. Phase one includes the cleaning of the entire site, including all the buildings. It also includes the fumigation and the anti-termite treatment that needs to be carried out because of the time that has elapsed since the buildings were not used. So today we have started with the east wing, we have started with the surgical building as well as power, laundry and maintenance building. We are cleaning up the floors, that's the first step that we are doing and we have about seven subcontractors currently working here. There are 42 people uh, in their crews the, that, are, that have started to work here today and this will, this will continue for the next four months which will include the cleanup, the fumigation and the anti-termite treatment that needs to be carried out. So that will be the completion of the phase one. Then we will move into the phase two of the works. 
And thank you, Joshi, for that explanation because it's important to note that these buildings had been abandoned for the last six years. So um, as you would imagine, there is a lot of remedial works to be done to get it up to scratch before we complete it. Um, so we're very happy for those timelines and we really hope um, that we can move speedily through the first phase and onto the second phase and again to open the doors to serve the people of St. Lucia, especially the people of the South. I would now like to call on the Honorable Minister, Senior Minister, um, Honorable Stevenson King, who is again collaborating with the, the Department of Economic Development for the St. Jude Rehabilitation Project. It is indeed a nostalgic opportunity this morning to be part of this exercise, to commence what I believe, and I'm sure the Prime Minister will endorse, to be the final leg in the redevelopment of St. Jude Hospital. It is nostalgic because at the time of the fire, which destroyed the surgical block of this hospital, I happened to be the Prime Minister. It is also nostalgic because I have served on two occasions as Minister responsible for health in this country. And St. Jude Hospital was always a pleasant place to visit by virtue of the nature of health services that it provided. St. Jude provided care to its people, not only in the South, but to the entire country, that certainly reflected a difference in healthcare services. The care that you receive, whether it's from the Sisters of the Sorrowful Mother or from Mercy Hospital, who came in to replace the Sisters of Sorrowful Mother, or from our own nurses and doctors, nationals, who committed themselves to serving the people. We have gone through a lot here at St. Jude. As the Deputy Chairman indicated, much, much wasted has taken, has taken place here. And I believe on this occasion, with the module that we have developed, with the kind of interministerial collaboration between infrastructure, economic development, and Ministry of Health, I am very confident that this project will be completed on time, within budget, and to the great satisfaction of all St. Lucia. <laughs> and having said this, therefore, I want to pledge to you, Prime Minister, the full cooperation, not just of myself as Minister responsible for infrastructure, but the support of the entire ministry, our commitment and our dedication to provide the service to the people who deserve it, the people of the South and the people of St. Lucia in general, who have waited for so long and who at this time must be given the hospital St. Jude's. And therefore, I believe we have a good team in place, a contractor who has performed not only in St. Lucia but overseas, who has a track record. And I'm confident that our St. Lucian team of contractors subcontractors, etc., will deliver this hospital to the people. And thank you very much, and I look forward to the progression on this project. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister. And it is always a pleasure, but today particularly so, to invite Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre to address us. Thank you very much. Mr. of Ceremonies, I would be lying if I say I'm not happy. I am happy and I'm thankful, basically thankful to my colleagues in the, in the cabinet. Because there was a lot of debate as to whether we are doing the right thing, as to whether we were also from some of our closest people, whether we're doing the right thing, or whether we will live in a state of the art building and going into another building. But as I have said before, we trusted the science and we allow 
independent people to do the assessment for us. And I can assure you, not one of my colleagues ever, ever interfered in the assessment being done by that committee. And they came to the conclusion that we were to return to the original site and continue work for the completion. And I want to tell you also that these people worked for nothing. We paid them not one cent. We did not pay them one cent put their time and the effort, and they gave us a report. And this is the genesis of what we're doing here this, this morning. I want to tell you also, the management of this project is going to be different. No one or two men are going to be in charge. Professionals are going to be in charge, and it's going to be a, collabor a collaboration between the Ministry of Health the Ministry of Infrastructure, and the Ministry of Economic Development. None of my ministers are engineers, so we will not pretend. <laughs> we are going to be guided strictly by the professionals. And you must also note something. The continuity in that we sought, we trusted the technocrats. We thought that they were always, that they would never or they would not try to destabilize the government or the project. And we trusted them. And I hope that the trust that the cabinet puts in these technical officers, that they maintain that trust. Because of all what you heard about St. Jude, the millions of dollars that were spent on these buildings, literally millions of dollars. Behind us is possibly $120 million. That's behind us, $120 million, if not more. And there are debts, there are debts on this building behind there. Debts that possibly could be anything between $30 and $50 million on these buildings behind there. Plus, there are debts left over on these buildings also. So in total, we possibly may have spent between $250 million and $300 million when we are completed paying the debts on these two buildings as they are. That is what the taxpayers of this country will have to go through. And whereas I'm happy, it hurts me. Because $300 million later, the people of St. Lucia still have not got a hospital. But I can assure them, and the cabinet can assure them, that in the shortest possible time, the people of the south of this country will be, not maybe, will be receiving health care in these St. Jude buildings. In these St. Jude buildings, we will receive health care in these central buildings. And I want to also thank us, and especially the staff, the medical staff generally, but the staff, the doctors, and the nurses at St. Jude Hospital. That's a true labor of love, to work in the conditions that they worked under. I want to, I want to really thank them. I want to thank them, the staff of the St. Jude Hospital and the board of directors for guiding this process. But most of all, the unfortunate people who got sick and had to endure the conditions at the stadium. My heart bleeds for them. Because the conditions at, this, at that stadium were not easy. And because, most of the time, because of selfishness, we kept these people in that condition for six years. And I had a walk in these buildings this morning. And I'm saying to, that I went myself to see for myself. I'm not an engineer. I don't profess to be an engineer. But there is nothing that says that these buildings could not have been completed four years ago. 
There is absolutely nothing that says it's a callous act for people to have left people in the conditions of the stadium just because you want to prove a point. But we're not proving any point. The only point we're proving is we are trying to improve the health care for the people of the South and giving them better conditions we should. That's the only point that we have to do. So today, I want to thank the cabinet for the patience and for enjoying with me. Because sometimes it's very difficult to be in a situation where you're getting bombarded on all sides and one man is telling you, let's go there, let's go here. But the cabinet stayed with us. I want to thank them. I want to thank the staff for the Ministry of Economic Development because they also were under pressure. I put them on a lot of pressure too. I'll admit, I put them on a lot of pressure. I had to. Because if I didn't, didn't put them under pressure, we might not have been here today. And for the Ministry of Infrastructure that, that has joined, and the Ministry of Health, and I also want to pay a special, a special mention of the Minister for Health, the Honorable Moses Jabatis. Moses Jabatis is committed, and I'm sure where he is, Moses is smiling. It's 11 o'clock in Taiwan. Moses must be up trying to listen to what, if somebody is not, not if somebody doesn't have a live, show him on a live. Moses is, I'm sure he's listening. Because I think of all the cabinet ministers have a special interest in St. Jude. But Moses has an interest in St. Jude because of his portfolio and because of the fact he and Labry and Vifort South always fight as to where St. Jude is. <laughs> <laughs> and the member for Vivot South spoke to me this morning. He had, a, he had an important court engagement, so he could not be here. So, really, it's not time to celebrate us yet, but I can assure you we're going to be celebrating here very soon. This work will continue. It's not going to stop. It's going to continue until it comes to an end. It's, there is no turning back. And anybody who believes that we're going to turn back, that is, that is their business. We are not turning back, and we are going to, con we're going to continue this work to save the people from the conditions they are in the stadium. So I want to thank everybody. I want to tell you that um, it, it was long. Some people said we took too much time. But it's always good to take time to plan and time to know where you're going. It's always good. I, make, I want to apologize to the people who suffered at the stadium. I want to thank the staff, I want to thank the people in the Ministry of Health. I want to tell the, the contractor that we place great confidence in him, great confidence in him because of his track record. The contractor has just completed a hospital in Dominica. So we think that it, it is St. Lucian talent that we are going to use. I want to tell the contractor that he needs to to do his best, and the workers who are working on the side, they say they are 42 already, we hope that these numbers will increase to create some level of economic activity. All in all, what we want to do in the final analysis is to have a modern, functioning hospital for the people of South and St. Lucia. I thank you very much.